This is probably one of the most cozy games I've ever played. Botany Manor sees you step into the shoes of a retired botanist on a journey to prove herself to the greater botany community by publishing her own book full of research about different plants. It's up to you to gather the research and put it all to the test by making each plant successfully bloom. In this video, I'll be giving a full review of the game, rating it from decaf to fully caffeinated. This is something I do regularly on this channel, so if you're interested in other indie game reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's grind this game down and see how it brews. Botany Manor has a really beautiful storyline set in the stunning manor at its grounds. You play as Arabella, a botanist completing her book on plants so that she can prove herself to the botany community. This game has no narration and no character interaction at all. The story is actually told in a really simple way through letters, books, and notes found throughout the manor. So you need to actually go and explore the manor to get the full sense of the story. The story is simple, but feels quaint and explores some interesting issues that were prevalent in the time period of that 1800s kind of era. And you definitely see a lot of that come through through the correspondence and you get that push and pull with Arabella and try and get the recognition in an industry that is dominated by males. Overall, the story is cleverly woven into the gameplay and it adds a drive to completing the book while still being unimposing on the gameplay itself. So for story and world building, I'm rating Botany Manor as juiced. Botany Manor takes on a simple and explorative nature. You definitely don't feel rushed, nothing feels urgent, it's very relaxing and go at your own pace. And I think that's what makes it feel so cozy. To complete your book on plants, you need to identify each plant and its ideal growing conditions. So you need to search for clues about each plant and put them together to figure out how to get each plant to bloom. The puzzles range from simple to a bit more complex and get progressively more difficult throughout the game, but still feel very achievable to solve. Each puzzle is unique and takes on more of a deductive reasoning style rather than a straightforward logic-based puzzle, so it is an interesting puzzle mechanic that they've got in the game. At times, some of the puzzles can feel tedious as there is a certain amount of backtracking, largely due to having to just go back and recheck clues and double check information and, you know, that kind of thing to be able to solve the puzzles. I really would have loved to have seen some of these clues saved in the actual notebook itself so you could check it there rather than have to travel across the banner and find where the clue was and then figure out the thing and then try and remember it while you go all the way back to the other area so i think that would have been a really handy feature for the game as a puzzle nerd i would have loved to have seen some more complex puzzles most of them were quite simple and quite easy to figure out in my opinion so i would have loved to have seen a little bit more complexity to some of them but overall, I think the mechanics work really well. They definitely fit this style of game and they provide a solid exploratory puzzle experience. So for gameplay, I'm rating Botany Manor as juiced. The manor in this game has a stunning design. It is so beautiful and it's so atmospheric when you explore. All of the plants are stunning and the notebook you use has a really cute hand-drawn aesthetic. There's definitely a really high level of detail, especially with all the different notes and letters and things that you find throughout. Even just having different handwriting for each character is a really cool feature. And I thought that they really nailed the design on the game. The soundscape is done really beautifully, complementing the graphic style and really setting the whole vibe for the game. The sound effects were really useful for determining if you found a clue or got a step right in the plant growing process. And I found I relied more and more on them as the game progressed. Overall, the graphics and sound work together to create an environment that feels peaceful with a side of whimsical, creating a really cozy and relaxing game. So for design, I'm reading Botany Manor as fully caffeinated. Botany Manor has a really great set of controls that feel smooth and easy to use. I really love that you could use keyboard controls or just use your mouse and it was really interchangeable, which felt really great. The game has some really great accessibility features like having the text show on screen in a default font with higher contrast rather than having to read the handwriting. So I found that that was really great. And there's also a whole stack of options in the menu to turn off different settings and adjust things especially if you have things like motion sickness so i think this game is actually really accessible to play i didn't come across any bugs during my gameplay and i found the load times were pretty reasonable once you're in the actual game itself there's not really any loading and there's no lag or anything like that i think overall the game feels really great to play and it runs really well so for performance i'm rating botany manor as fully caffeinated Botany Manor definitely feels like a breath of fresh air, quite literally. The game doesn't necessarily bring anything revolutionary to the table in terms of mechanics, 
but it delivers a game that combines some familiar mechanics in a bit of a different way. The combo of an exploration or immersive sim type game with deductive puzzles almost makes the game feel like a cozy detective game. And it makes for a really interesting game to play that still feels relaxing and peaceful. You could definitely compare the game to other immersive sims like Supermarket Simulator or House Flipper in terms of how it feels to navigate the world, but the puzzle side feels more like a narrative detective game rather than typical puzzles. Overall, Botany Manor feels familiar, but still carves out its own space in the puzzle and immersive sim genres. So for originality, I'm rating Botany Manor as juiced. Botany Manor is a solid deductive reasoning game with an immersive sim feel that is probably one of the most laid back and relaxing games I've ever played. It's short but sweet coming in at two to three hours playtime, but the story is heartwarming and the manor is absolutely stunning. This is definitely a world that you can get lost in in the same way you might get lost in a really good book. We've ground the beans, we've carefully weighed and pressed the grinds and brewed this game down. Now it's time for a taste test. Botany Manor is juiced. Botany Manor is available now on Steam, Nintendo Switch and Xbox, including Xbox Game Pass. You can find more information in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helped give you a bit more information about this cozy game. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on the game. So please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stay caffeinated.